Okay, so it has been just a couple days over a year since uh, I had open heart surgery. I haven't done any updates um, since I pretty much since I got out of the hospital and I need to do a few more updates a lot has happened in the last year and and it's it hasn't been easy sailing um, I've had three cases of pericarditis since it seems like uh, every three months I come down with a good case of pericarditis and I'll probably I'll probably find do a few different sections on um, what pericarditis is, how it feels, um, and, and I wish I knew how to avoid it. Um, but basically it feels like uh, open heart surgery all over again for, for a week or so. So anyway, I, I haven't done any updates because I feel like I never have time to sit down and edit videos. So unfortunately, this is my drive to work video. Um, I've been working out. I started working out. I guess I posted a few videos right after surgery. Um, as soon as I got home, I started doing air squats, and then I was after eight weeks, I was back to the gym, modifying things. And then, then uh, after a couple weeks, I was doing just as hard as I can, pushing it as hard as I can. Um, physical therapy. I got a release from the therapist, and. They pretty much said everything, there's no restrictions. And to me, that means no restrictions um, when they say it. But I, I think they're used to telling old people that there's no restrictions. I apologize for calling anybody uh, old. But I, I feel like I'm in the younger uh, generation of heart patients. Um... Anyway, so hopefully I can give more to updates, and uh, I apologize for the quality, but this is this is kind of how it's going to have to be if I'm going to do any more. I think it's awesome that uh, we're building a network of of people who have gone through open heart surgery and have watched their loved ones go through open heart surgery, and it's a struggle, and it's life isn't normal, and that's the biggest struggle for me is to just to be normal. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments below what you want to know about, any questions. I try to keep up on that. Um, and the biggest thing is just knowing that there's a, there's a network of people going through the same thing. And once again, I'll, I'll try to take some time and go into detail of, of all the, the different struggles I've had. Um, I did, uh, this year I did complete the Spartan trifecta. It's the obstacle racing, um, and by the trifecta, you you run a uh, um, you run a five mile race, uh, obstacle race with like twenty obstacles, and then then you run a, another race. It's the super. It's about nine miles with uh, about thirty obstacles, and then I ran the beast that uh, has like forty obstacles, and it was. It was uh, 12 miles long. So if you run all of those in one year, then you get what you call the Spartan trifecta. And I got that this year within the, within a year of getting open heart surgery. So I feel like that was a big accomplishment for me. But anyway, once again, let me know if you have any comments, questions. Uh, subscribe if you want to if you want to keep updates, and let's just network uh, everyone with open heart surgery. See you later.